agents. In this video, we're going to have a look at the apparel menu and exactly the sort of things you can like buy vanity-wise in the game to make yourself look cool and stuff like that. Um, and we're just going to discuss that really. It's a nice short video for anyone that's uh, new to the game and unaware of uh, how it all works. Before we do have a look at it, please do hit thumbs up on the video if you like this, and please consider giving us a sub as well. I'm so close to 3,000 subscribers now, and every 1,000 we do a 24-hour stream. You can help me get close to that over the weekend. I'll be doing a 24-hour stream next week, and it's going to be awesome. I'd lo uh, love you to get involved in that as well. Uh, so let's get straight into it. So the apparel menu can be found under the options menu. If you've just pressed down once, you go into the apparel, and here it is. So on this screen now, you have an apparel store, you have caches, and then you've got... Uh, all, all the parts where you can change so like I can choose what hat I want what glasses I want uh, what I want around my neck there's outfits as well that you can choose you've got your patch here your emotes here there's something that's locked that intrigues me and you've got your masks I've currently got two of them and uh, this is where you do all that now the caches uh, work the same as the division one in a way so you need cipher key fragments and then what you can do then is buy a key for the cache that you want you'll see in the bottom right there that I've got 210 fragments which means I can afford if I want to to buy two of these specialized crates which guarantee a specialized quality item uh, the superior ones so guarantee superior quality items now the cipher key fragments work a little bit different in this um and i haven't actually got you the accurate information to say how uh, all i know is that they're not they don't seem to be tied in with the commendations that they used to be i think there's more going to be on enemy drops now i'm going to say uh, i've got 210 somehow that's over like 40 hours of gameplay and uh, that allows me to then buy a cash i can buy four of them because i'm actually saving a little bit more to get one of them to be honest with you um but yeah you can just save up those fragments buy keys and get all the stuff in this store for free you don't have to buy it so it will require a lot of grinding now i'll tell you that because like i said i'm 40 hours i've only got 210 so that's how the caches work uh, i've actually also had these uh, power caches the specialized ones i've had about four or five of them for free i've noticed that i've been giving them as rewards for completing certain activities i'm not sure which ones uh, i'm guessing missions i just noticed uh, when i've been looking in here that that's had one or two on there and i've been able to open them so do keep an eye out on this menu because you will get some of these for free without requiring any keys as well now uh, looking at this menu we're now going to go into the power store and here again you can see your caches but there, here's where you can have a look at all your collections your emotes uh, weapon skins and you've got featured items there so we have a quick look at the collections at the minute we've got um, four different uh, like categories and each category has its own few outfits and they cost anywhere like between well 300 to seven eight hundred uh, premium credits you get given 200 premium credits to start the game with premium credits are what you buy so for real money you can purchase those credits and then you can use those credits to get in-store vanity items uh, you start with 200 so I can't actually afford any of the outfits on that uh, but going back I can probably afford something from say the emotes menu no, I, I was wishful thinking uh, 250 is the cheapest but again like in Division 1 there's a most that you can buy um, you will need to purchase those credits to get them just to remind you though that the whole point about the crates is that all these are available inside of them you don't have to buy these you can just grind and grind open those crates and get lucky to get what you want uh, but if you're anything like me I still never got that snapshot emote on Division 1 after 4,000 hours of gameplay so um yeah, you might want to buy a few things if you really want them because they don't come easily. Uh, my RNG sucks on this game too. So, yeah, you've got that and you've got some weapon skins. I'm guessing I can afford one of these. There you go. So you want to spend your free 200 credits. You can buy yourself a weapon skin uh, from the moment you turn on the game. Um, just these ones down here. Uh, what I also want to show you in this video is something they've got on offer right now if you do want to buy premium credits go into the premium credits menu you've got all these options so 399 gives you 500 uh, 799 gives you uh, 1000 plus a 50 bonus obviously this is in uk currency i'm not sure what the dollar equivalent will be or wherever else you are in the world uh, 1599 gives you 2000 plus 250 2899 gives you 3500 plus 600 and 3999 gives you 5000 plus 1500 bonus which can get you a lot but there's a welcome pack so this i assume will be available for everybody and there's no time limit on it I could be wrong it could just be for a few weeks so this isn't here on your 
those and you're watching this video i apologize you'll be able to get it but at the minute you're getting an exclusive charades emote with this i think it's really cool to have an exclusive emote there and that's going to make me buy it now for you and show you what it is so uh, i'm going to show you that now but here is where you buy those premium credits if you do want more vanity items and not have to grind for them so let's go and have a look what this is all about so uh the with 2,000 premium credits I'm going to get, I'm going to get an exclusive emote, and this pack is the best way to get started with purchasing in-game content, such as outfits, weapon skins, and more. One player, I'm not going to keep on reading that, so uh, let's go, let's, let's purchase it, and let's see what the Shreds emote, emote is. Uh, but yeah, that's pro it's basically the same as Division 1, but it looks a lot prettier, and there's not a vendor for it. Uh, I think like the image overlays and everything really stand out makes you want to go in there and buy stuff they've done a good job of it really so uh, i'm going to order and pay for this now okay there you go so password in purchase complete i'm going to return to the application and let's have a look at this new emote um, i assume well as you can see there when i just went on to my uh, caches I've now got 2,200 wallets. No, uh, wallets. <laughs> 2,200 in the wallet. Um, I'm not... Sh like, you can't purchase keys either. No, like, it wants me to uh, craft a key to open that. Craft a key to open that. Now, I would have thought you could have used um, that premium currency there on the keys. It doesn't appear like you can. Uh, you can only go and use those premium credits on items in the store here. Um, let's select that uh, emotes. And see what the shreds emote looks like. Uh, I'm guessing once you get the shreds emote, you need to go and collect it. Uh, from the vendor here, if you do hey, get anything given to you in the game, if you, you press. Um, no, it's not there, sorry. Oh, yeah, stash. You. you go into the stash and press R1, you've got your deliveries. And there you go, I've got a grant, and there's the shreds emote. And that's what it looks like. So that's the exclusive. Emote that you get for spending eleven ninety nine on that welcome pack. I'll move that to inventory. To go back into your options menu, back to apparel, and have a look at your emotes. And this is where I can now select it. So I've got charades. I'm going to equip it, and I'm going to take it out instead of. Uh, let's just do the wave for now. So there you go. I've got that selected, and then we can uh, perform that new exclusive emote. That we've just got from spending eleven ninety nine, pretty cool. I'm now going to go and purchase some more items to make myself look a bit more cooler with uh, some more vanity stuff. Uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, if you did like the video, please do hit like and uh, again, please su hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from ourselves. Check out our community in the description. It's at the top of the description. It's a Discord community and there's a lot of division agents in there. They're very helpful. It's a very welcoming community. Uh, so do check that out also. Uh, thank you for watching this video and until the next one, guys, peace out.